PC Henderson's Imperial system is ideal for bottom rolling doors weighing up to 200 kilograms. The bottom rolling hardware carries the weight of the doors at the bottom of the system, making it ideal for applications where there is insufficient structural support for a top hung system. The hardware is available as both locking and non-locking kit packs or can be specified separately to suit specific project requirements. Prior to installation, the door and opening will require some routing detail to fit some of the hardware. If your installation includes a fixed panel door, this should also be fitted separately. The kit, locking bar, keep plate, bottom rollers, top guides, bottom rail, door stops, interlocking profiles, polypropylene channel. The tools, electric drill, drill bits, screwdriver, pencil, tape measure, saw, plumb line. Fitting the hardware to the door. Place the top guides into the pre-routed detail at the top of the door and screw into place, drilling pilot holes first if necessary. Place the bottom rollers into the pre-routed detail at the bottom of the door and screw into place. Take the locking bar, place it into the pre-routed detail on the side of the door and screw into position. Position the door handle into the pre-routed area on the front and back of the door and screw into place. Finally, fit the locking cylinder into place. Test that the locking mechanism works as it should. Fitting the tracks and stops. Place the polypropylene channel into the pre-routed detail at the top of the opening. Use an adhesive to keep in place if necessary. Measure the full width of your opening and cut down the bronze bottom rail to suit. This measurement should be the width of your opening, minus 130 millimeters. Using a plumb line, mark out the position of the bottom rail so that it is positioned exactly beneath the polypropylene channel. Screw into place, ensuring the short end of the channel is on the fixed panel side of the opening. Position the floor stop at the end of the channel marking with a pencil before creating pilot holes and drilling into place. Measure and position the top door stop so that the door will hit both stops simultaneously and screw into place. Fitting the door and interlocking profiles. Place the door into position, ensuring it runs smoothly along the rail. Check there is a gap of 12 mm between the fixed panel door and your sliding door. Measure the height of the opening and cut down the interlocking profiles to the same size. Screw the interlocking profiles into position on the front facing side of the fixed panel door and the backwards facing side of the sliding door. Ensure the profiles are correctly positioned as to interlock using the measurements in the instructions. Place the door back onto the track and check the interlocking mechanism works as it should. Fitting the keep plate. 
Attach the keep plate to the lock on the side of the door using the locking mechanism to keep it in place. This provides you with the exact position of where it needs to be fitted onto the jam. Move the door with slight force into the jam so that the keep plate dints its position into the wood. Any slight discrepancy in the placement of the keep plate will cause the lock to function incorrectly. Drill holes into the markings that you have just created. Remove the keep plate from the lock, position onto the jam and screw into position. Optional handles are available in a choice of five stunning colour choices. Visit our website for more details.